thank you for volunteering to be our judges. My name is Melanie Dickens, and I'm the head marketing judge, and we're going to discuss the best marketing judging. The teams have all been told what is expected of them through the presentation, but what I would like to do is show some of the high points on the score sheets to see what is expected of you as a judge, and maybe that way we can all stay on the same page and have all the requirements for the best marketing presentation. The first thing you'll notice is the 2016 marketing presentation score sheet. I know some of you are going to say, well, this is just simple. She's just telling us exactly what's written down. Well, the fact is we are teaching to the test. That way we have a uniform scoring system for every team that, that participates in BEST. The purpose of the marketing presentation is to present information and respond to questions concerning the company's effectiveness in creating a prod product. I know that these are students but we're going to treat them as if they are businessmen and women that are here to promote a product. So by the time they leave from the presentation, we want to say why we want to buy their product, why we want to invest in their company. So that's why some of these students will come in and they will begin to speak to you as if you are a person in their actual presentation of their company. Now, first of all, I want to let you know that we have not made a, re a requirement for a PowerPoint presentation, but you will see the majority will give PowerPoint presentations, but they need to be rehearsed and have it enough information down so to, that if their technology crashes, they have the information to, to give you a clear process of what has taken place in their company. The company structure and operations, do they have well-defined roles? Some of, the pe some of the employees will come in and they'll introduce themselves or they will actually have a physically have a chart or some kind of PowerPoint slide or paperwork to show you how their company is divided up. They may introduce themselves as a group or they may introduce the, their roles, but you should be able to see that it's clearly explained who is the vice president, who is in charge of accounting, who is the de decision maker, and this is how you can discuss questions later on about how is the decision making process? How did they come to decide what happens when the process goes wrong? Please note that there is a rubric on the actual score sheet this year. That way we're not going back and forth between what is actually used for the scoring and, and what you can use is have the decimals. You can use the scores, the scores points where you can have 20 or you can actually use 19.5 or 18.5, 15.5, but please, whatever you do choose, make the comments professional and the criticism positive and reinforce why you picked what you picked and why the score is what you've chosen. Because we will redact or block out the numbers and names of the judges, but we also give these score sheets to each of the teams so that they are better able to decide what they want to change in the future of their company or what they want to change during their marketing in case they go on to best. The organization of the company for product development is how did they how does their robot relate to the department? Is there someone who just works specifically on the field? Is there someone that works specifically for marketing? These are another possible 10 points. All we're asking is that they clarify this information. If they can clarify this information by just speaking it is fine or having it defined on a PowerPoint slide. Please keep in mind that you may zone out or forget or stutter up like I do, and you may realize, wait a minute, did I hear that? There's going to be a brief moment after each presentation of a team so that you can talk amongst yourselves with the judges. Now, please be clear in responding on the comments of yours legibly so that we know what, why you chose to score the way you scored. Company demographics. You're going to have a broad, broad range of teams. Some of these teams have huge student bodies that work on the best robotics, and then you've got some teams that are made up of just a small group of individuals. Now, the diversity that we want to talk about, male, female, grades, ages, minority involvement, as long as diversity is discussed. For example, you may have a team that it may be all white males or all white females. We want to know how did they go about 
recruiting diverse individuals? Did they, you know, did they go to different parts of the schools? Did they ask as long as it was open to everyone? Now, some of the schools and some of the teams have gotten big enough that they have an application process. This may be one of the things that they bring up is how they were able to receive team members. This is what we're looking for. We're not looking to say, oh, we're going to mark you wrong because there wasn't enough diversity. We're just looking for the fact that they did try to recruit diverse individuals. Evidence of a budget. They have the right to have a false or made up pretend budget. So you may have a group come in with $1.5 billion as their budget, and you may have someone come in and say, we only had 50 bucks and that was their budget. As long as they can give a clear and concise information on how their budget is presented, and as long as they bring up the fact that there was some mention of a fund or budget. Once again, please use decimals and use comments to let us know that, that why you chose the possible scoring that you chose. Brainstorming. Now, brainstorming can be based on how they de developed and evaluated their game plan and strategy, or it can be the brainstorm on how did they determine who was going to work in which part of the game. Who is, you know, maybe someone is maybe more, more apt to get up in front of talking to someone, and so they decided to do the publicity part of it. How did you brainstorm? In this, there are no right or wrong answers. And I don't know is a perfectly good answer. As long as they can say, I don't know, but I would like to refer you to our financial officer, or I don't know, I would like to refer you to our executive director. As long as the, every question that you ask them is not, I don't know. We want to know that everyone has been a part of this game strategy and everyone is trying to get the, the best out of this best program. Their brainstorming is clearly presented. Some may have a Venn diagram, some may have a PowerPoint, and others may just tell you, hey, we decided to just volunteer for things. As long as they're commenting and they're making it where we know how they did those brainstorming approaches. Please remember, BEST is about analytical evaluation and robots and design alternatives. There is a mathematical process. There is a programming process. So we want you to ask technical questions also. If you don't feel that there, we're going to give you a sample of questions that you can ask. If you don't feel like maybe you don't have a technical mind like me, I'm more on the creative end of it. So I try to say, okay, maybe there's at least one or two judges in there that will give a question. You may not understand the answer, but at least they've tried to give you the information that you've requested. So did they have multiple design ideas? Was it clearly presented? And it's okay for them to tell you that they had a design that didn't work and then they went back and they problem solved and they were able to find out, hey, this is something that we did work. But once again, please remember, make sure your comments are constructive, make sure that you are make them legible and just give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Effective implementation of the engineering process. There's going to be some that may not. We have asked that everybody maybe have a team meeting or report to each other. If they're in the engineering design process, may report to some of the media people or the publicity, just in case one of them gets that, an that question that they might not could answer, that at least they can refer it to someone who can. Publicity efforts to inform school and community of the company's effort. Some of these that you're going to see when we discuss team, F, uh, team booths and interviews, you're going to see have some of the same information. But once again, please do not compare other teams. Just work on the score sheet that you're working on with the team that you're watching at any given moment. That way it's fair across the board. We're going to have hard judges and we're going to have easy judges and we're going to have creative judges and we're going to have technical judges. We want to make sure it, there's a fair gamut all the way across. There's got to be some evidence of how did they use publicity? How did they target the school and community? Maybe they had a church group. Maybe they had a school newsletter. Maybe they had a Girl Scout. Maybe they made posters. Some of the students are already working on this now and we've started to see articles in the newspaper and journals. Did they have flyers? Did they have brochures? They're just going to tell you how they got the effort out to talk about BEST Robotics and their team. CAD or other drawings. Some of the students forget this. For some reason, they forget to put the robot design or the type of 
technology in there. So if they have a PowerPoint, they're going to use the same thing. Was there a slide? We are teaching the test to them. They know that what is required to be in this. Did they show you any kind of design? Some students will actually physically bring pictures of their design to you. They will pass them around. They will show you notebooks. They will show you some kind of printouts, 3D graphics. And some will just tell you about it. And that's when you decide as as subjective as you can on some things we understand are going to be subjective. But please make your comments to let us know why you chose what you chose because that way they learn to incorporate it next year. Web page development, computer simulations, PowerPoint. They are not required to have the PowerPoint, but if they're showing you that their web page that they've developed is part of their PowerPoint, please, you're only judging it on this marketing presentation aspect. But as long as they have it, you've got the points there to see it. Communication skills and professionalism. One of the things that you'll notice is that they dress, some are going to come in in business suits, some are going to come in business casual, some are going to come into the t-shirts or the team wear that they've designed. As long as they present a very professional uniform group, you know, we don't want one in a prom dress and one in a t-shirt and shorts, but as long as they come together as a team and look like they are an organized unit, that is what you're looking for. Are they saying, um, or yo, or no, are they chewing gum? We've even had some that was doing someone's hair before. So as long as they are doing a presentation as if they are a business group of people, then that's what we want to see. Did they come in? Were they weak in any areas? But please, once again, make sure you comment on why. Met the specifications. Was there a time limit? Yes. It can go no longer than 25 minutes. We've only had one go over that ever in our presentations, but there are a minimum of four. If someone comes in with three, they are not allowed to present. Four to eight presenters. Students do the setup and breakdown themselves. In the past, we have had problems with technology that had nothing to do with the students and nothing to do with actual presentations. So please be aware that there may be something, for instance, if the lights go out or if something is not working in that room. But other than that, they've been really good about coming in, starting up their program and getting right to the point. So please know that in the room, there are no adults. And of those four to eight presenters, if there is someone taking pictures or videography, they are free reign for you to ask those questions of them also, and you may score based on what they say. Achieve the goal of marketing. Would you, when they are ready to leave and they have finished their presentation, do you think they persuaded you to actually invest in their business? Do you think they did a great job of selling their product to you? Would you go out and buy that? If so, rate them a high score that they persuaded you and that you would surely invest. Would you likely invest? Use those decimal points on that also. Creativity of format. Some of the teams are going to be the doing the same thing that they've always done because it's worked for them. But it, was there something special about that particular group that made you think, wow, I really liked the way they did this? Or I really love how they implemented that. Add that on there and keep that in mind whenever you're doing your scores. After each presentation, there's going to be a small question and answer opportunity for the judges. Did those answers, were they crisp and clear? Did you notice that they were, or were they saying, uh, I don't know, I don't know. You know, did they answer the questions and respond to the judges in a professional business manner? That's what you're looking for. Did it feel like, some of these, you're going to feel like these are adults talking to you. Did you feel like leaving that you were just in a meeting? If so, please score accordingly. And keep in mind, you will have similar scores across the gamut because of the fact that we are teaching to the score sheets and we're teaching to the test. We're hoping that these students are getting that information and following this rubric that we are also using. Now, you'll also see South Best. These are sample questions for judges. These are questions that are used in the marketing presentation, and some of them carry over into the team interview and booth. Now, I always have a favorite question that I ask, and that question is, how do you deal amongst, how do you deal with conflicts amongst employees? 
Now, I love it when someone says, oh, we didn't have any conflict because then I know they're telling me a story because as long as you get two human beings together, there will be some conflict. So I like to have that question in mind. But there are several other questions that you can have. How large is the school? How many students? You are feel free to come up with a question of your own. But if you don't feel comfortable with it, please look over these questions yourselves because each team receives a copy of these questions, so they should be aware of the answers if they've studied their part.